Good morning, everybody. Good morning, friends. Buenos dias. Let's sing our hello song. Hello, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Or you could sing, I'm sad, I'm sad, but I'm going to get back happy, right? <laughs> I just made that up. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> All I'm saying is that you can sing whatever feelings that you have, and that is okay. Because feelings just go through you. They're just, they just pass, they just come to visit. They pass through, pass by, and it's okay to feel them all. Ready for Peter Peter? Peter Peter, pumpkin eater, he had a friend, remember friend? He loved to greet, treated him with kind respect, and in the morning, Nah. Today we're going to read a story called guacamole. And you know what guacamole comes from? You know what this is? It's called an avocado. Guacamole comes from an avocado. Let's see. Today I'm going to make you guacamole, I say to my mother and my father and my little brother and sister. They stare at me with their big eyes that reminds me of green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. To make delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more, you need four big avocados, like green precious stones and two fresh limes, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You will need some cilantro leaves, green as a four-leaf clover, and salt. That is all. Mmm, that sounds delicious. First, put on your chef's apron. Mine has balloons on it. With and a little bird. Where's the little bird? Oh, it's at the top. I feel like a great chef, and I am one as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish with its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. The avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hands and I can tell they are soft and ripe with their shiny tender skin like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in a fountain of the sink and then dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. Now it's time to cut the avocados one by one, very slowly, I cut them in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball round as a small world. It's smooth and slippery, like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are seeds from which avocado trees are born. Then take a big spoon, not too big and not too small, the spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender fresh flesh of the four avocados. Put the green avocado flesh in your dish. That's this part. The empty avocado skins look like wash bowls. Don't throw them out. You can set them aside with your pit. Now add salt, not too much to the salt as you shake it so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. Salt, 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 salty salt from my sh salt shaker. Salt goes in first. Now with your, tra with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It is becoming guacamole. Then take a bunch of cilantro and wash it in the fountain of your sink. It looks like a little tree. Wash it well, shake it off and sprinkle the water around the kitchen. 
Tear the leaves off your tree one by one and add them to the avocado. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. Hmm, can you smell the orange? If you have cilantro, you can smell it. Or lime, I like the smell of lime. Mm -hmm. Now take the limes, which are also green and perfectly round. Take them over to bathe them in the kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half carefully one by one. You are going to squeeze them with your hands over the avocado waiting in its dish. So soft, such a fresh smell, such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell makes my mouth water. Mm. Oh, look it. <laughs> the lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. It does, don't get it in your eyes, it'll sting. The juice that comes out tears from the limes. Ooh, the sour river of lime smells so good as it falls on the green, green, greeny green of, of the avocado. I laugh, I laugh, river laughs, I laugh, green laughs, I laugh, lime laughs, I laugh, guacamole laughs. <clears throat> Stir everything together again, up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well, taste it, sprinkle on more salt and stir and stir and stir it around. Sing and dance because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy, what yummy guacamole. Now everything is green and juicy in its dish with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all the seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them in Mother Earth so that more avocados will grow, more lime trees, more colors, and more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and the tortillas, to sit down and enjoy guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so greeny green, as pure as love. <laughs> Here they are, they like, look like they're having a picnic. Do you think they really live in an avocado? That would be silly. Is avocado a healthy food to eat? Mm hmm it's very healthy. And cilantro and limes too, those are all very healthy foods to eat. Maybe you can try to make it. And if you have guacamole, maybe you should try it. So delicious. You can find lots of different recipes on, online. You have to ask your mom or dad for help. And if you make it, please take pictures and please send them to us because we love to see them. Yes. Let's sing. See you later. See you later. See you later when we meet again.